What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you what I believe to be the easiest and simplest way of merging multiple animations. Before we start this video I want to quickly announce that I've created a Patreon. My Patreon is a way you can support me so I can carry on producing tutorials like this one. I've also added a few exclusive rewards like early access, Patreon shoutouts and poll voting for upcoming tutorials. So if you want to check it out I'll leave a link in the description but now let's get into this tutorial. For the purpose of this tutorial I've downloaded the free mannequin animation pack. You can get this from the Epic Games Marketplace. So before you start this tutorial you will need two animations that you want to blend, a character blueprint and a character animgraph which transitions between idling, walking, running and jumping. Check out my previous tutorials if you're missing any of these things. I'll leave a link in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the animation we want to merge into an anim montage. I'm going to be using the pistol reload animation for this example. So we're going to right click our animation, create, then montage. A montage is used for combining animations, but in our case we're just using it to give the animation a slot that we can call on later. You can think of slots as just a way of categorizing animations, upper body, lower body for example. So we want to give our montage a slot. And as you can see, it's already been assigned. Now we can call upon this animation in the animation blueprint via the default slot. So save and close this, back on our content browser, open up the animation blueprint. So if you followed my animation blueprint tutorial, or if you're using the default third person mannequin, you should have an animation blueprint which looks like this. Now we're going to store some animations into a cache. You can think of caches as variables where we're simply storing the animation into a callable variable. So we're going to right click, type in cache and bring that in, then click on it and in the details panel rename this lower body. Then we're going to plug in our idle, walking, running, jumping group of animations into the cache. So now we can call upon these animations using the lower body cache we just made. Next we want to bring in our lower body cache by right clicking and typing in lower body. Then we're going to right click and bring in our default slot group which our animation is linked to. Then we're going to create a new cache called upper body and connect these nodes up. Now we can call upon our upper body cache which contains the movement animations plus any animation we have linked to the default slot. Now we can merge these two animations by using a layered blend per bone node. This layered blend node will basically merge animations based on the skeleton but I'll explain more about this in a minute. So, bring in the lower body and upper body caches we made, plug the lower body into the base pose and the upper body into the blend pose. Now click on the layer blend node, add array element in the details section, click the drop down and type in whatever bone you want the animations to merge at. In my case, I'm gonna put pelvis, but let me explain this a bit better. With the layered blend node, the two animations will merge at the bone specified in the node. So if we look at our skeleton, if we put pelvis as our bone in the layered blend node, we're telling the program to stop running the base pose and run the blend pose at the bone pelvis. So the base pose will control half the body and the blend pose will control the other half. As our upper body cache has an upper body animation attached to it through the default slot, the default slot animation will be played from the pelvis upwards. Back on our animation blueprint, click on the layer blend node and put in a blend depth of four. This blend depth controls how much of each animation will be blended. At a value of zero, the blend pose animation will play on its own without any blending. At a higher value like 10 for example, the base pose animation will play on its own without any blending. So a value of four is a good value to blend both animations together. Now we're done in the animation blueprint. Now what we need to do is call the default slot animation to play when we want it to play. So back on the content browser, open up the character blueprint bring in an event, I'm going to use the R key, then bring in the play animation montage node and select your animation. And we're done. All right, let's do a quick recap. We turned our animation into an animation montage and gave it the default slot. In our animation blueprint, we created two caches, one with the movement animations called lower body and one with the movement animations plus any animation with the default slot tag called upper body. We then merged these caches together using the layer blend per bone node and we told them to merge at the pelvis. After the animation blueprint was all set up, we then called our animation montage to play in the character blueprint. And because it had the default slot linked to it, 
it was merged in with the lower body cache. And that's everything. If you like this video, it'd be awesome if you could support me on Patreon. I hope to build up my Patreon team so I can dedicate more time to tutorials and produce even better content. Like, subscribe, and join my Discord to keep updated with new video releases. Thanks for watching.